everybody, Mark here, and I want to do a quick print comparison between the Prusa i3 Mark II and the DaVinci Pro by XYZ Printing. Let's begin. Both parts are printed at 0.2 millimeter layer heights, 20% infill, and two perimeter walls. The only difference between the prints is the Prusa was printed in PLA, and that was PLA provided by Prusa, and the XYZ DaVinci Pro was prevented printed with ABS that was provided by them when I originally bought the machine. There are four key differences in the prints that I noticed. Disclaimer, I did drop the Prusa, so it does have a little bit of a, of a flat top here. It did have a good spire on it, so don't look at that. But the four differences are the surface finish, number one, the Prusa is much better. You can see that the surface finish here is much smoother than on the DaVinci Pro. So that was the first difference. The second difference I noticed, um, and we can turn the parts sideways, was because this is a Bowden style setup, you can see a lot more boogers um, hanging on the parts here, as well as down here and all the way up here, compared to this print when I don't see any. Now that's because this is a direct drive and that is a Bowden style setup. And you might even be able to see inside of here, there was a really long string right here, right there. So another difference that I noticed um, was there were some delamination areas um, on the DaVinci Pro right here and right here. Now they're not that big, but I think this is due again to the Bowden style setup when it's doing its retraction and extruding um, with the extruder. And over here, you don't see any of those issues. Now, I do have the knock, the Prusa. Uh, it did have some issues back here when I was printing, as well as here and here. If you turn the parts, maybe that's the start and stop points with the extruder, because you don't see any here um, or, where it, or where it had the issues. But if you look at both these parts, they both look really, really good. Now, the Prusa is a $700 kit, and the DaVinci Pro is $600 um, fully assembled. Now, they, do, they both have their own strengths and weaknesses, um, and, they're, and they're appealing to different clients. Now, the Prusa is appealing to more of the hobbyists, when the DaVinci Pro is more of a click and print uh, type of a machine. But, uh, I felt like the Prusa, uh, the the Prusa is the best uh, 3D printer for 2016, and the DaVinci Pro got a lot of negative criticism when it first when it came out, uh, but I want you to be the judge about the prints, but I think they both look pretty good. I mean, this is a very detailed castle, and both printers did a, a pretty good job printing it. So guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if there's any other parts you want to do a print comparison between, obviously please leave them down below. And like always, happy printing.